In this lesson, I want to take a look at how to build a web page header with Sparkle. The vast majority of web pages have a header of some kind. They're at the top of the page and often will contain navigational features like buttons or a menu. Headers can just be a solid color with text links, or they can include an image background. In this lesson, we're going to build a header from scratch that will be similar to the one here on the MacU.com. So I'll start with a blank page in Sparkle. Our header is going to be made of three elements, a wide box, an image box for the logo, and a menu. I'm going to start with the wide box. A wide box is called that because it stretches to infinity horizontally. When I preview this in Safari, I can enlarge the window as much as possible, and the wide box always covers the entire width of the page. I can control the height and location of the box. I'm going to keep this one at the top of the page, and this current height should do. Over in the style pane, I can set the content of the box to be just a solid color, a gradient, or an image. I'll start with an image. I'm going to choose one from my desktop and set it to fill the box. Select Fixed in Window, and I can drag the box to cover any part of the image, which isn't going to work too well in this case. Check Blur and adjust with the slider here to blur the image, which can make graphics and text easier to see when placed over the image. So a header with an image background could be a nice option for quite a few sites, but in this case, I'm going to use a gradient. Click on the circles here at each end of the gradient bar to select the colors. When working with colors in Sparkle, your currently selected color will have a thick, dark gray border around the color. I'll click Edit and adjust the blues in the gradient. Below, I can add a border, round the corners of the box, or add a shadow. I'm going to add a pretty subtle vertical shadow. Okay, so this is my header background. The next piece is going to be the logo graphic. The graphic will look a lot like this one, but when adding it on top of my gradient, I don't want it to have its own background. I'm going to be using this PNG file. I'll just drag it into Sparkle and resize it. This is a good chance to use the grid lines in the background. I have the grid set to 12 columns right now. So if I were to resize this logo to fill four of them, I know it's covering about a third of the page horizontally. I also get a green guideline when the logo is centered with the wide box. Here's the current live preview in Safari. Now I need to add a menu to my header. Menu doesn't have to be in the header, and you can have multiple menus on a page. But in this example, we'll build a header menu for site navigation. When I add a new menu, I just get a single button because this site currently only has one page. In the style menu, replicate site structure is checked. So as I add pages, this menu is going to have buttons added to it. I'm going to add a second and third page. They automatically appear in the menu. If I uncheck Replicate Site Structure and add a fourth page, it's not going to be added to the menu.
I would then need to manually add buttons and name them. In the item area of the menu here, I can set a link to a page in this document or to an external link. When Replicate Site Structure is on, you can still add buttons on your own. And if you don't want one of the site's pages included in the menu, just click the Show Hide button here. For this menu, I'm going to stick with the three buttons here, Home, Page 2, and Page 3. Click and drag to resize the menu. Use the item spacing slider to adjust the gap between buttons. Change to a vertical menu to stack the buttons. Below, I can manage and set up the background color, border, rounding, shadow settings, and the text style. Once that's all decided on, we can set the mouse hover settings, which will control the animations that occur when a cursor moves over the menu. Let's take a look at how this is working now in the preview. For the background hover color, I'm going to set it to be the same as the background of the menu so when hovered over, there will be no change. Now for the border and text color, I'm going to change those to white when hovered over. Now in the preview, the menu is working correctly, but when I click and go to page 2 or 3, there's no header there to navigate anywhere else. So what I need to do in Sparkle is set all of my header elements to appear on all pages which is done from the Arrange menu here. Once that's done, the header's set up on each page, and in the Site Preview I can navigate easily from page to page. So now, after just a few minutes, we have a header for this site with a menu that can be easily expanded as the site grows.